Yesterday, I reviewed Presenter, which is a brand new presentation software, which is similar to PowerPoint, Keynote, Google Slide, but it's way easier to manage. It's a beautiful product. Uh, but because I did an extended review, I did not have much time to uh, show you the possible upgrades. Now, normally I don't do that, but I got many requests from people asking me if I could show you the upgrades. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video. Now, again, if you're interested in presenter or one of the upgrades there is a link in the description of this video it will redirect you to my website where you can purchase it through my link and as a thank you you'll get some extra bonuses as well so make sure to check out that link all right let's dive into this and let me show you the possible upgrades so as you can see right now i'm logged in and i'm at the halo 3d tab which is actually the second upgrade the first upgrade is the vsl option which is part of the pro version of presenter now if you purchase presenter you're gonna get by default i think 50 slides 50 presentations and the pro version uh, gives you 150 more presentation templates uh, but it also comes here with a video sales letter creator and that is what this part is all about. This is the VSL, video sales letter. Now to create a video sales letter is very easy. You simply open the folder where you wanna create a video sales letter and you click on this big plus button in here. And here you give your video sales letter a name. So I'm gonna call this Lorem Ipsum because I'm gonna use Lorem Ipsum text to show you how it works. And then I'm gonna proceed by clicking the next button. Now in this field, you you paste all of the text of your video sales letter. So in this case, this is lorem ipsum. I'm gonna copy this text. So let's say this is my sales letter. And on every slide, I wanna present my text in a big font. So what I'm gonna do here, first, I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna add some white spaces here of how I would like to present my lorem ipsum text. So let's say I wanna have this on each slide in my presentation. Then the only thing that you need to do is you need to split it up like I'm doing right now. And then once you're done, you're gonna add pointers in here. It says insert pointer. So when I go here and I click on insert pointer, there has been a pointer added. And I do that for every single line where I want to add a new slide. So basically a pointer is a new slide. So on each line where I add a pointer in here. So as you can see here, I've added four pointers. Now these four become a single slide. So this becomes a single slide. This one becomes a single slide. This one becomes a single slide. So you simply go to each line and you add this pointer point. And let me do it quickly here. And then let me remove the bottom part. So let's say this is the script that I wanna use. And the next thing you do is you click on next. We're gonna delete the first slide because it's empty. And here you can check if the slides are correct. So let's say this is okay. Then you're gonna press on next. And now you can upload a background image or you can use a background color. So right now, and here also you can change the text color. But let's say I wanna go with a blue color in here. Let's select the blue color. And let's go back to step five or four because I also wanna have a white text color in here. And then the background color is blue. And then the only thing that I need to do is click on this design button in here and it will create all the slides automatically for me. And as you can see here, now here at the left sides, all these slides have been created automatically and I can export my VSL. Now, this VSL, every VSL needs some modification. So you can select the text on each slide and then you can simply make the text bigger like this. You can center or align it and you can do that for each specific slide. So depending on how much text there is on the slide, you can decide how big you want to have the font like this and you can change everything on the slide. Now, if you want to, you can also record your voiceover for each specific slide. So when we go to the bottom menu in here, I can say I wanna add media, and then in here, I wanna record a voiceover. So the only thing that I need to do is need to press this record button, and then I'm recording my voiceover. So let's do that. So it's counting down, one, so on this slide, we can see that we've added lorem ipsum text, and this is my voiceover for this slide. 
and then we're going to stop this recording. And right now, when I click on add, it will be added to this specific slide. So when I start previewing this slide, look what happens. It's going to build the slide for me. And then when I press play here, because you need to start the presentation. So on this slide, we can see that we've added lorem ipsum text, and this is my voiceover for this slide. And then it automatically goes to the next slide. So for each slide, you can record your voiceover, but if you like to, you can also record here when you go to this gear icon, you can go, oh no, I'm telling this wrong. You go to this microphone or this speaker, and when you click on this, you are also able to remove every audio from every slide. And then when you go ahead, you can record a voiceover for all the specific slides. So when I click on record here, uh, I can start recording here. So let's do that. Let me show you exactly how it works. Hey, this is Tim and welcome to my Lorem Ipsum presentation. And we go to the second slide and on the second slide, we're also going to talk about Lorem Ipsum. And of course, on the third slide, we can also talk about Lorem Ipsum. Now, when we stop the audio, it automatically adds the audio to all the slides. So I right now stopped at the third slide, but normally you stop at the end and then every slide matches exactly with my voice. And if a slide does not match, you can also decide to move these uh, arrows in here to move the audio so that it fits every slide. And then you can add this to your presentation. And once you've done that, your video sales letter is done, it's ready. You can also add music to your presentation if you like to, there's a built-in library of music as well. Uh, but I should have added that before because it says make sure everything is done correctly. Um, but yeah, right now it's done and I needed to do that when I added the audio to it. So this is how you create video sales letters. And this is the first upgrade inside of presenter. So let's save and exit. And now I can export this uh, video sales letter as it is one thing that I forgot to mention. So let's edit this fields video sales letter one more time to show you uh, because here there is an export version and here you can decide to export this as a video sales letter as a video i can also export this as slides as pdf or i can export this as an html website forgot to mention this so that was important and of course i can share my presentation here i can simply email this and when i email this it will open my email platform and the presentation link is in here that i can share with other people and when i paste that in my browser uh, here so let's paste this link in my browser you can see that it automatically loads the video sales letter and i can share this with anyone if i like to so now it's loading there and boom hey, there this it is him and welcome to my so you see it automatically starts playing a lorem ipsum press and the voiceover has been added to the slides then the second upgrade so the first upgrade is the pro version extra slides 150 slides extra designs extra images etc plus the video sales letter option the second option is presenter x factor which gives you some very cool options as well oh no that's not the, the x factor i mean the halo 3d so the x factor is 15 slides every single month be added to your account it's a one-time price of 47 dollars uh, you get more and you can see all the details on my website as well you can see this overview I wanted to talk about the presenter Halo 3D, which is Upsell 3, which allows you to create flipbooks, carousels, slide transitions, and mock-up skins. Um, and I'm gonna show you that. So we'll go back to my dashboard in here, save and exit. And now I'm going to open OTO 3, the upgrade 3 for you, so that you can see how this works. So when I go to Halo 3D here at the top, I am able to create beautiful flipbooks. So when I click here on plus, I can say, um, I wanna create my flipbook example. And I'm gonna click next. And from here, I can choose any presentation that I created inside of Presenter. So let's say I wanna create a flipbook of this presentation. Then I simply click okay. And now I can choose from one of the backgrounds in here. So let's say I wanna use this background. And now this flipbook will be created automatically for me. And this looks really cool. Once this has been finished, there it is. And let me show you 
what this flipbook is all about. So when I open this in a new window, this is what you can share, how you can share your presentation with other people. Or you could do even a webinar with the slides this way. And look at this. So right now you got a beautiful flipbook that you can use here and where you can go over your presentation. The videos will play with a click button in here. So when I click on this, it will open a new window full screen with my video and I can go over my flipbook. And as you can see, this is really easy to create. Now I can also create a widget. So here is the widget option where I can get an iframe so I can embed this on any website. I can also do a button embed so I can create a button on a website. When people click on it, it will open the presentation for me uh, in a pop-up here as well, pop-up embed and a custom embed as well. So you can add it to any website as well. Then the second thing is the carousel, which is also a very, very beautiful option. So to create a, Chris, a carousel, uh, carousel, and I'm gonna click next. And again, you can choose any of your presentations. So let me, for example, take the same presentation to get a similar view of every option that we have. And now it's going to create a carousel for us. And for a carousel, you can also add links to every slide that you have created. So once it's done here, it's gonna take a few seconds to export this to a carousel. Uh, but once it's done, we can add our links to it as well. I think it's almost done now. And there it is. So when you view this carousel here, let me open this. It will look like this. So it takes a little time to load or to create a carousel, but look how beautiful this looks like. And when I hover with my mouse more to the left, it will spin harder. And when I go to the other side, it spins this way. And what you can do for each carousel, so right now it's just a carousel that's, that's um, how do you say that? That's making this, this transition. What you can do here is, let me close this one, is you can click on edit this carousel. And now for each specific slide, you can give this a title and a target URL. So let's say the title is uh, smart, uh, smart Mobile Devices. You can say to HTTPS mobile123.com and then the description, discover how you can get a new mobile phone, for example. It just doesn't make any sense what I'm typing here, uh, but it's just to show you as an example. So for each specific slide here, so this is a background colors and I can do here, let's just copy this for the example, check out all our backgrounds. So as you can see, for every single slide, I can decide if I want to open this in a new tab, yes or no. For each slide, I can add a title and a description. So once I save this, and I go back to my carousel here, and by the way, there are also carousel settings in here, that's the second tab, where you can set the speed, the aerial view, the tilt view, the mouse hover speed, you can change all of these details in here. Also here, uh, the, the theme here, the zoom, zoom in. So you could do more zoom in if you like to, slide spacing, reflection, yes or no. Uh, on hover, the background, the title. So you could change a lot of things in here. And also the URL. So you can change this URL as well to mobile, for example, mobile, one, two, three. And now you can open this, so let's save this. And now when you open this, it will open the carousel for us. And you can see here, we created this slide here with smart mobile devices. Discover how you can get a new mobile phone. Now when I click on this, it will open a new window with mobile123.com. That's the URL that we've added. So for each slide, you can add a title and a description here. So we did that for two slides. And as you can see here, so you can create a presentation that is a carousel and you can embed this on your website. The same way here, when we go back to uh, here, to, go to back to this overview, we can also go to the widget option and we can embed this to our website, a button embed, pop-up embed, a custom embed. So these are all the options. 
Then the next thing that you can create is hypnotic transitions. So what this will do is when you click and create a new one, so hypnotic one, two, three, let's call it hypnotic one, two, three, you can take the same presentation again. So basically you choose the presentation that you want to create an hypnotic transition um, presentation for you simply create it and now it's going to create it in the background for us again yes and once this is done you can view your presentation here and do you see that these are the how do you call it hypnotic pre transitions here so for each slide it's going to create different transitions and this looks pretty cool you can see here the slides at the top that it goes over and if you want to uh, see a slide manually you can click on slide four or slide one it goes back to the presentation go to slide two so here it adds all different kind of transitions to your presentation now and again with this option you also have the option here to edit these slides where you can add your titles and your target url so when people click on the slide they will be redirected to another website and again in here you can also add this as a widget to your website, as an iframe, as a pop-up embed, as a button. And let me see here, there was one more tab here for the transition settings. You also have these settings in here that you can change for your presentation. So that is the hypnotic transitions. And then the last one is the mock-up skins. This is also a very cool one. If you want to create a new presentation, so I'm going to call this mock-up presentation, and I'm going to click on next we're going to take the same presentation again and what this will do is it allows you to choose from all different devices where you can add your presentation inside of this device so let's say we want to use this laptop this simply we choose this laptop and this is being ready immediately it doesn't have to render this so when I click on view here it shows you the presentation inside of this mock-up. I thought that I chose another one, so I think I've selected the wrong one. Yes, I should click this one. So you can see this mock-up being opened inside of this laptop in here. And I can go through the presentation. I can auto-play it here, so you can pause and play this. And the cool thing is that this looks pretty professional. And you can add this to your website as well with the same widget option in here you can simply embed this into any page into any website so let's say you write a page with content then you can simply add this computer inside of your article of your post and then your presentation is being embedded inside of that post and that is the mock-up skins option which is all part here of the uh, presenter halo 3d and this upgrade is 77 dollars now then there is one more upgrade this is the presenter auto job finder uh, which unfortunately i do not have access to but basically uh, what it says here it finds you unlimited new clients and gigs online so that you can make profitable income using presenter and it saves you massive time from having to search for freelance jobs manually an instant profile template so 10 times done for you freelance profiles that you can edit and use immediately to help you look like a professional from day one and gig proposal templates bookmark engine and a job tracker that keeps you organized and track all of your applications oh shoot i'm changing this by accident and that is part of the job finder and then the last upsell here is the agency version uh, which basically allows you to create team accounts inside of your presenter account uh, that means that you can create multiple logins so when i go to my account you can go here to the right top where you have the option which is agency team so when you open this i can go to add member in here and i can add members to my team so that we can all work inside of this presenter account so let's say i'm gonna do tim and i'm gonna do uh, let's let's call my myself tom uh, tom verdau and then tay verdau plus tom and gmail.com and password let's create one so this not sure if i need to keep this in mind password what's not good okay it should have 
capitals. It should have probably all different kinds of signs. So let's do that. One, two, three. And then let's save this one. And now an account has been created. So it says, member added, please advise Tom Vridal to follow verification instructions sent to this email address. So let me check my email. And as you can see here, it has created an account for me. And it says, step one, Tim Verdal has added you as a team member to their pre uh, presenter agency team account. Step one, verify your account. Please click here to complete verification. So when I click on this, it says account verified. And I can start logging into presenter. And here are the login details, which means that I can log in with these details, with these details inside of presenter. <clears throat> now I can also resend the details or if I like to remove this user, I can simply click on delete and I can add new team members. So <clears throat> one second, sorry about that. I had, <clears throat> I had to cough a bit. So I paused the video. Um, but yeah, you can move team or remove team members. If you have 25 team members, you want to remove some and add new ones. You can do that in here as well. So that is what the upgrades of Presenter is all about. And if you haven't uh, seen my original review, make sure to go to my YouTube channel, Tim Friedau, to watch the original review on how to create beautiful uh, presentations with Presenter. I think this is a beautiful product. Again, there is a link in the description of this video. It will redirect you to my website, which can be found here, timfredow.com. Here you can see Presenter as well, uh, where you can find all the information about Presenter. Uh, you can get it through this page. You can get a bonus, uh, not bonus, you can get the bundle deal as well, which means that you get all of the upgrades and the front end for a... Um, very discounted price. You're going to get all these bonuses. One of them is a free speech pro account where you can get voiceovers for your presentations, beautiful voices. Building here. a business that is sustainable for a long period of time isn't easy. So these voices can be created with this software. Um, yes, yeah, so you're going to get all of this. When you scroll down, you can see the overview of the funnel again here. Scroll down here. You can see the front end here. This is included with the front end. You can see the professional version in here. All the details are in here. You can even check out the sales pages of the upgrades. We call it one-time offers OTOs. Uh, and keep in mind, you cannot purchase these OTOs separately, uh, not with without having purchased the front end. So you can purchase them separately, but not without having purchased the front end. So the front end is required in order to be able to purchase these upgrades. All right, I think that's it. That's my review of the upgrades of presenter if you have any questions make sure to ask them in the comments below please like this video um yeah forget don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done yet for future reviews as well and uh, thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video talk soon cheers